All right. So I love that you are all here. I am so excited. If you don't know me, if you're new to me, I'm Dr. Laura Ritchie. I have a doctorate in physical therapy, but what actually brought me to essential oils was a cancer journey in my twenties. And I became more open to natural remedies and holistic health and functional nutrition. And I became really passionate about giving people tools that are safe and effective to help with their health and wellness after going through what I went through. And so my goal is to share with you three cool things about the essential oils, three ways to use the oils, how to get the oils into your home. And I want you to think about what your top three health and wellness concerns are. We talked about some of those, which are really powerful, but if you could list what are three things for you and your family, you can write them down. You can type them into the chat if you want. Um, but what are those big things for you? Like, why are you here so that we can really tailor that for me? It was sleep. I was really struggling with digestive issues and I was struggling with a lot of migraines and headaches. And so that's what kind of brought me into the world of essential oils. And I will say as a physical therapist and healthcare professional, I was super skeptical. <laughs> I thought, mm, I don't know about this, I, but I tried the oils and became a believer and became very passionate about sharing education with them. So think about what those are for you. And we're going to jump in with the first cool thing about essential oils. Oh, thanks Allison for typing in the chat. I love it. So first cool thing is that they are safe. So they're hundred percent natural and safe. We don't have to worry about side effects or addictions with them. They come from plants. They're really potent. They're 70, 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. And what matters with essential oils is quality. So with doTERRA, they're certified pure therapeutic grade. We have a pharmaceutical grade lavender. And what that means is the oils are tested. And the big thing is co-impact sourcing. So it's different about doTERRA than other essential oils is that the oils are sourced from the areas of the world where those plants are designed to thrive. So for example, our frankincense comes from Somaliland or Oman. Our lavender comes from Bulgaria or France and everything from temp temperature, humidity, soil, time of day that these plants are harvested affects those chemical constituents. And what's really cool is a lot of other essential oils, they maybe cut corners, they purchase through brokers or middlemen, farmers are not paid fair trade for that. doTERRA bypasses all that and they work directly with the farmers. Farmers who've been growing frankincense trees for generations to make sure that not only are they getting paid fair trade and on time, but we are getting the best frankincense from all over the world that we can use for our essential oils. So we source from the best places and we help the most. And then we have a humanitarian effort, the Healing Hands Foundation that comes in and provides healthcare clinics and clean running water and schooling and different things. So that was really after my heart, but that's the big doTERRA difference. So as an example of this, for example, peppermint essential oil is very cooling. If you have peppermint, you can grab your peppermint or pull it out, but it's a very cooling oil. It's very energizing. And so if you have peppermint, you can put a drop in your hands, rub it together and inhale it but you're going to notice that you're going to feel that it's going to start to energize a little bit. You can put it on the back of your neck. I'm in West Texas and it's hundred degrees outside. So we use a lot of peppermint essential oil, but if you were trying to decrease body temperature, if you had head tension or neck tension, um, you can apply it topically. You can actually with doTERRA oils, take this one internally. So quality really matters. And the safety of essential oils is a big deal because any use of an essential oil is systemic, whether that is going into or inhaling it or putting on topically or taking it internally, which we'll talk more about later, but quality is a really big deal. So second cool thing about essential oils is that they're effective um, and they can often be really effective to a lot of modern approaches and things that are going on. So the cell membrane is a fatty lipid membrane and essential oils are a lipid, are an oil. And so we can actually use them. And one of the cool ways is they can actually permeate the cell membrane. So they can be a really effective tool to use that maybe say if we had the flu or a cold and there's not much that you can do and you're going to take fluids and things, we can actually use the essential oils to help us at a cellular level, which is kind of cool. 
So an example of that is on guard. It's our immune support. And sometimes the oils sound like what they do, like on guard sounds like on guard, like protect your immune system. Like that's going to help to support you. So if you're feeling like you're getting sick, if you have a sore throat, um, you can actually put a drop in water and take it. We say it smells like Christmas and cleans like bleach. So on guard is one of those oils that we use a lot for support. And then the third cool thing about essential oils is that they're very affordable, um, often more affordable than traditional medical care. There was a physician that spoke last night and he said that, I believe he looked it up from the CDC, the average ear infection of a child will cost a parent about $600. By the time they go and pay a copay and for a prescription, for gas, for time off work, for all of those things. And with the oils, it's actually pennies per dose. So say you were having ear discomfort or an ear infection, you could do a little bit of lavender essential oil and tea tree. We don't put essential oils in the ears, but you can actually put them around the ear. Um, and you could even put like a little drop of basil or tea tree in a cotton ball and stick it on the outside. Um, and you do that for two days and symptoms start to improve, which is kind of cool. So we love our lavender for any type of ear discomfort, but lavender is calming for the mind. If you're having anxious feelings for support with stress, it's also calming for the skin. If you've got rashes or skin irritation, that's a really good one that you can put on as well. And the combination of lavender, lemon, and peppermint actually works as a natural antihistamine. So you can diffuse that, or you can take that internally. So if it's springtime, if you love the outdoors, but the outdoors don't love you or cats and dogs or things, it's something safe that we can take. That's not going to leave us feeling groggy and tired and zonked out. So I really love the oils for a lot of different things. So the three ways to use essential oils, the first is actually aromatically. So I've got a diffuser here that you can see in the background. I have this really cute little portable diffuser that I love. So you can put the oils in a diffuser and you can inhale them, or you can just inhale right out of the bottle, right? You can just smell it. You can put it on your hands. I love to do a nice little palm inhale. This is really good to wake you up like that. If you get that two or 3 PM slump, instead of grabbing the caffeine or the sugar, you can do a little bit of peppermint and wild orange, but it's going to help to support your mood, help to cleanse and purify the air and also help to support respiratory systems. So if you've got a child with any respiratory struggles, getting some breathe and diffusing is gonna be a really great way. And it's funny, one of my sweet oilers said, I know Laura that you talked that diffusing helps with mood. And I kind of thought, okay, that's a little hippy dippy for me. And she was diffusing for a while. And then she stopped for a couple of days and said, I actually noticed a difference that was really helping with my mood. Um, so sometimes it's only when we stop doing things that we're like, that was actually helping me. I was noticing a difference with that, but we love aromatic support for that. The next way that we use oils is topically. This is put it where it hurts. Pretty much you can put essential oils anywhere, except we don't put oils in the eyes and we don't put oils in the ears. Those are two no-nos, but we can go around, but pretty much other than that, we can use the oils for support. So like we were mentioning for digestive support and talking about that, um, you could put peppermint or digest scent oil. I'd use a little bit of carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil is my favorite, but we have a couple different carrier oils and that we dilute the essential oils with. So what a carrier oil does is it carries that essential oil into the skin, into the bloodstream. So you, some of the oils you can put on meat, like lavender, you could just put on the skin, but about half of that's going to be evaporated in the air and half of it's going to be absorbed. Whereas if you use a carrier oil, it maximizes the absorption. So you actually get more bang for your buck with that. We always want to dilute for babies, kids, elderly, anybody with sensitive skin. So in the beginning, I recommend let's all use a carrier oil when we're starting with the oils. And I like to make my own roller bottle. So I'll take a little glass roller bottle like this. Um, for kids, you can do the number of drops per age. So say you had a five-year-old, you could do five drops of each of the oils top with a carrier oil for adults. I usually start with 10 to 15, and then you can always go up. Like my husband likes um, about 20 drops per oil. He likes a little bit more potent. So start with less. You can always add more. And a good safety rule of thumb is if anything ever gets uncomfortable, you're going to dilute, just add more oil. Oil dilutes oil, which is a good tip. 
Um, this happens to all of us at some point, we put peppermint on our hands and then we like, oh, touch near our eye. And then our eye is burning. You're going to want to rinse with water, but what you're actually going to want to do instead, water is going to intensify. So if you put water on, it's going to make it even stronger. It's like eating anybody eat really hot chili. I know we got a girl from Albuquerque here, so she's, she's probably got the red and green chili. So they tell you don't drink water because <laughs> it's going to make it way worse. Like do milk. So you could rinse with milk in your eye, or you could grab your carrier oil and put it around the eye or even put some carrier oil on a washcloth and that will bring it out. So all good, all good safety tips with the oils there, but topical use is going to be great, right? If we're talking about inflammation, joint pain, muscle pain, anything like that, we can put them on our hips. We can put them on our joints. Um, so I love that we have different options to use the oils to make them really specific. And then our third way that we use the oils is actually internally. Now for the love of all that is good and holy in this world, please only do this with a pharmaceutical tested brand. So not all essential oils are created equally. A lot of the stuff that's sold on the market is adulterated. It can be cut with synthetics or chemicals. Um, you can tell a fake oil when you go to the store. And if you pick it up, don't look at the front because there's no governing agency that regulates this. So it's going to say hundred percent pure, hundred, it's, you know, whatever it wants, natural, nobody's regulating this. So they can use buzzwords and say whatever they want. But if you flip over that label, what it's going to say is for aromatic use only, it'll say not for internal use, or it won't even talk about internal use. And especially if it's something that you would recognize as food, like lavender, peppermint, lemon, things that you should be able to take internally, hundred percent pure, my hiney. If that is not safe for internal use, put that back on the shelf and run because any use of an oil systemic, if we're diffusing it, we're breathing it in, it's going into the brain, into the lungs. If we're putting it on topically, it's going into the bloodstream. If we're taking it internally, it's got to be pure. So a pharmaceutical grade, and this is where doTERRA it's tested. doTERRA works with a lot of hospitals and universities, does a ton of tests. And there's a lot of research to show that people that claim that their oils are the same as doTERRA. We now have the science to back up that the body recognizes and absorbs and treats it differently. The body knows the difference between something that is a pure form and something that is man-made synthetic in a lab. So that's really important. That's my little disclaimer because safety is really, really important. So for internal use, doTERRA has made it really easy for us that on the bottle, if you see a supplement fact, like what you would see on food, you know that that oil is safe for internal use. Not all essential oils are safe for internal use, but most of them, especially the ones that you would recognize as food are. So you can actually put it in a glass of water Little tip here, glass, stainless steel, or ceramic when adding essential oils and, and taking them internally. We don't wanna use plastic. That's a good safety tip in general. Um, the BPA, it's an endocrine disruptor. I tell people, let's, let's kind of try to make the swap and do more stainless steel or glass if we can anyways. So you could add a drop to water. You could add a drop to a veggie capsule. So these are nice because you can open them up and it's kind of like making your own little concoction. So you could add two or three drops of an oil, close it up, take that internally. So say for digestive support, we were talking about that. You could put a couple drops of peppermint or a couple drops of digestin. Um, peppermint is actually a really great oil to help with colitis, to help with um, calming spasms in the colon. And digestin is a blend with peppermint and ginger and a lot of great things to help support. And it works quickly, like within five, 10 minutes. If you're working on detox, right? Weight loss and detoxification, you could add lemon or wild orange or any citrus oil into your water. And that's really going to help to support your filter organs, like your kidneys and your liver. If you've got inflammation issues, you could do a couple drops of frankincense and take that internally, or you could even do frankincense under your tongue for sublingual absorption. So I like that we have options, for example, under the tongue is going to get into the bloodstream really quickly. If you put it in a veggie capsule, it's going to go into the digestive system into the stomach. So that would be a really good one for digestive support in water. That's going to be great for overall support, detox support. So depending on how you want to use it, and you may try it in more than one way, like you could put Frank under the tongue and you could do frankincense in a capsule. So get it into the bloodstream quickly and then get it into the digestive tract quickly. So I like that we can play with it 
And you may find for certain things, you may like internal use, topical, aromatic, or you may like all three. Like say, um, like Linnea is in this situation right now, like her daughter's not feeling great. She's under the weather. So we're diffusing on guard. We're putting on guard and oils topically diluted along her daughter's back and along this, the bottoms of the feet. So bottoms of the feet and spine are great places to put oils topically. Cause we don't have like an immune button, <laughs> but bottoms of the feet, spine, and even over the thymus is really good for immune support. Um, and then we could do oils internally if we wanted it. If, um, typically for kids age six and up, we can do oils internally. So let's say somebody was having a sore throat. We could do a drop of lemon and a drop of on guard in warm water and take that internally. So I like that there's different options. And especially for me, I was like, oh my gosh, you mean that I can just apply an essential oil over my tummy and I don't have to swallow another pill? Like this is magical. <laughs> and especially when we know that things like for taking a lot of ibuprofen or a lot of stuff like that can be really hard on our gut. And so when we have things that we can use that are safe, it's a great option that can give us support really quickly, which is pretty cool. So I'll go through a couple of the top oils kind of in rapid fire. So lemon is one of those citrus oils, amazing for weight loss, amazing for detoxification, because when you're losing weight, like if you're on bright line eating and you're losing weight, those toxins are stored in the fat cells and then they're dumped out into the bloodstream. And then this is why you feel like poo, right? You're really fatigued. You feel yucky. So you can add a citrus oil to your water and that's going to help support your detoxification and your drainage pathways. Very high in glutathione very high in antioxidants and lemon is your natural goo gone. Like if you've got kids, lemon will get gum out of the hair. It will get stickers off of things. It will get marker off your table. I've had so many people get their deposits back just with lemon essential oil. It is such a great one. And the citrus oils are uplifting. So when you diffuse them, it's your sunshine oils, it's your happy oil. So I diffuse a lot of citrus in the winter time because I need the sun in my life. And when it gets cold and it starts snowing, I need that for mood support. On guards, that protective blend. So if you start to feel sick, if you're getting sore throat, you can put a drop in water and drink that. Mark and I were at a family reunion one year and everyone was getting sick. And I was like, not today. And Mark was like, I'm starting to get a sore throat. And I was like, no. And so we diffused it in the bedroom. I put on guard and lemon, this combo in a glass of water. He took that internally. We put it on the bottoms of his feet down the spine. We were the only ones in the house that did not get sick. <laughs> and Mark was like, wow, my, my sore throat is gone. Like they, the cool thing about the oils is you can start to see shifts pretty quickly um, with that, which is fun. Peppermint, we mentioned it's cooling, it's energizing. It helps with focus, helps with digestive issues, upset tummy, head tension, neck tension. And digestion is, sounds like digestion. So this is a blend for all things digestive support. It's like we were talking about I, IBD, um, colitis, you can apply it topically over the abdomen and it sounds weird, but inside the belly button. So I dilute it, put it inside the belly button over the abdomen. You can take this internally, drop in water, drop in a veggie capsule. Um, I like to inhale it or diffuse it for motion sickness car sickness. Uh, we went to universal studios a couple years ago. I don't like roller coasters. And I went on that Harry Potter ride and they lied to me. They were like, it's fine. It's not, I could not handle that ride. And I got off and I was so motion sick and I put digestion on my tongue. I rubbed it on my tummy and I sat on a bench and my husband loves roller coasters. So he went and did another one. And I was like, I'm going to be right here. And I did not toss my cookies. Um, I've had a lot of surgeries and this really helps with post-op nausea and vomiting. It's awesome. So motion sickness, upset tummy, nausea, constipation, diarrhea, bloat, heartburn. That's your digestion. I don't, I don't travel without this oil. It's always on hand because you just never know when you need that lavender, all things calm, calming for the skin, calming for the mind, that skin irritation, sleep. Lavender is the gateway oil. Most people have kind of heard about lavender essential oil before when they come to the world of essential oils. Um, but our lavender is pharmaceutical grade. You can do a drop under the tongue for anxious feelings or panic attacks, um, or in a veggie capsule. It is, it is really calming. And they're now doing, doTERRA is doing science and testing on the pharmacokinetics of essential oils and how they react in the body. And they're finding the half-life of lavender is about three to five hours. So if you're somebody who has a lot of anxious feelings or needs support there, I, I tell people do two to three drops of lavender in a veggie capsule and take it 
with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you can space out um, that half-life, which is kind of cool. Um, there's some really interesting research on how lavender works better for a lot of patients than anti-anxiety meds. Works the same, if not better. Um, so that's kind of cool. Frankincense. If you remember one thing from this class, because I know I'm throwing a lot at you quickly, when in doubt, pull Frank out. If you have no idea what essential oil to use, use frankincense <laughs> because it works on every system of the body from helping with healthy cells to healthy skin. It's a sesquiterpene, which is means you can actually put it on the thumb drop, press and hold to the roof of the mouth, and it'll cross the blood brain barrier. So very good for neurological support, migraines, um, headaches. And I'll repeat that. I'll do that like every five minutes if I have a migraine, but if we're talking overall inflammation or pain, a drop of frankincense under the tongue morning and night. There's some really interesting research as well about frankincense for digestive issues and leaky gut. Um, so putting it in a veggie capsule, taking it internally, basically you can add frankincense to anything and take it from good to great. It's your enhancer oil. It's like the superpower Avenger oil. There's a reason why it's the baby Jesus oil, <laughs> why we talk about it a lot. Um, Frankie is, is awesome. Okay. Deep blue, deep blue is well known and loved in doTERRA land because it's all things pain. So pain, inflammation, muscles, joints, arthritis, um, anything like that, instability, things to come on. I've had eight hip surgeries, four in each hip for dysplasia. I go through a lot of deep blue. Um, so we love, love, love the oil. It's actually blue from the blue tansy that's in it. So that's where it gets its cool name because it's legit blue <laughs> when you put it on. I promise you won't look like a Smurf, but it will help with pain. This has a child safety cap on it because it has wintergreen essential oil and wintergreen can kind of smell like root beer, but wintergreen is not an oil that we take internally. So that's another little cue. Like we've got a safety cap on there, but I love that they keep it simple on the label that we can look oregano. We joke and we say, you're going to outlive your oregano. It's one of those oils that we don't use every day, but when you need it, you need it. So this is like, if you're starting to feel sick, um, you can actually add a couple drops to a veggie capsule, take that internally. I know Linnea was doing that to support her with digestive support. Um, it's a powerhouse. It's basically like a natural antibiotic to support you. So it's a powerhouse for that. Um, also powerhouse for digestive issues that have been going on for a long period of time. It's a hot, hot oil. So this is why carrier oil, right? We always want to dilute our oregano essential oil, but it's a great one to have on hand, especially if you start to feel like you're getting sick. Tea tree is your natural disinfectant. Um, you can put it in your shampoo for your scalp. It helps with lice. It helps with, um, it's a zit zapper. If you've got any pimples that kind of pop up and have on hand, um, anything funky toenails, athlete's foot, toenail fungus, anything weird. Tea trees are really good one to help with that. And then breathe helps you breathe. We joke and we say that breathe essential oil saves marriages <laughs> because it helps with snoring. So if you, are, if your partner snores, if you snore, believe it or not, there's a meridian point on the big toe, put a couple drops on the bottoms of the feet, especially the big toe diffuse, breathe with lavender essential oil and put a little bit under the nose and on the chest. And it really does make such a big difference, but this is going to help open up your respiratory system. So if you're coughing, hacking, if you've got sinus stuff or allergy stuff going on, breathe makes a huge difference. Um, we had an event last night and I was sitting around a table with women. And this mom said, I tried everything for my son with asthma and everything that the doctor had recommended all this stuff. And she started diffusing breathe in his bedroom with lavender at night and putting some breathe diluted over his chest and bottoms of the feet. And she said, we now go through one of his inhalers. It takes an entire year to go through one inhaler. It completely made a night and day difference. And I hear that all the time for people with breathe. It really is just a powerful, powerful oil. Um, so that's kind of our, our fast track with what the oils are. I'm going to share a little bit about how to get them, the different ways to get them into your home. The first is retail. Nobody's going to purchase retail. It's the most expensive way to buy oils. The only time that you would want to get doTERRA oils retail is like if they were selling them at a chiropractor's office or a spa, but it's the most expensive. So I don't recommend that. The second is wholesale. doTERRA is set up like a Sam's club or a Costco. It's $35. You get your own wholesale customer account 
This allows you to purchase as much or as little as you want at a 25% off discount. We don't ask for your firstborn child. You do not have to order every single month. It's not like the protein powders or things were not scary. It really just allows you to have your own account so that you could log in and purchase at a 25% off discount if and when you needed something with that. The best way to save and bundle is actually with a starter kit because that $35 fee is free. So I'll show you some examples of that to save more, but what you can expect from me or Linnea, depending on whoever invited you to the class, we will give you a welcome packet. We're gonna do a personal one-on-one -on -one consultation because I know coming to the world of essential oils is a lot. So when your oils arrive, we're gonna set up a Zoom call or a phone call or a video chat. And we're gonna walk you through everything. So don't worry, <laughs> we've got you. We're gonna walk you through this process. We have a VIP private education Facebook group that we do education and support and people can ask questions and get help because that's a big deal. The ongoing support is huge. Not only if you go to natural grocers or whole food and you buy oils, that's a synthetic fragrance. I wouldn't even call that an essential oil, but you can't call up that guy at whole foods if your kid is sick and say, Hey, what do I do? Um, but you get me, you get Linnea, you get a whole community to support you with this, which is why doTERRA chose to have their essential oils set up this way so that you receive education versus selling them in a store. So this is the Healthy Start Kit. It is 160. It's the top 10 oils that we talked about, all of those in the little bottles. So they're five ML bottles. There's about 85 drops in each bottle and it comes with a little diffuser. This is 160. And this month, when you get started with any of our kits, you're actually gonna get $50 in oil free that you can use to purchase things. So that's kind of a cool perk. The other kit, this is our most popular one. This is the Home Essentials Kit. For less than double the price, you're actually gonna get two thirds more oil with this kit. So these are in 15 ml bottles. So there's 250 drops in each bottle. One to two drops is all you need. So these last a very, very long time. It also comes with a bigger, longer running diffuser to have on hand. This kit is 270. You get the $50 in oil free. And just this month, which is kind of cool, you get three extra oils, which are almost $70 for free. And these are unicorn oils, the sunny citrus and the island mint. They're special summer oils, and you can't purchase them at any other time. Um, so that works really nice. So yeah, the oils, there's 250 drops in these big bottles. And so it'll last a really long time, especially if you're making roller bottles, which we teach you how to do on a welcome call. If you're even for an adult, you're putting like 10 to 15 drops in here with daily use. This will last you about three to six months um, for internal use. You're just using one to two drops. Um, and then for aromatic use, maybe four to six, just depending on how strong you like it. Uh, they will last you a really, really long time. Like we do joke that you'll out, outlive your oregano. I think I finally used up all my oregano like a couple years into the journey. There's an expiration date on the bottom of all of the essential oils. Um, and most of them, it's like five or six years out. So they will last you a really, really long time. So it's an investment in your health that you can use for several things. Like I think about if you were to go to CVS and buy like, Zyrtec or Allegra or something like that. That stuff's kind of expensive, but you can only use it for your allergies, right? But like lemon, lavender, and peppermint, I can use that for tons of stuff. Headache, upset tummy, sunburns, sleep, uh, makes my water taste good. I can cook with it. You can do a lot of things. So it's kind of like a Swiss army knife that you've got tools for a lot of things with that. Good questions coming in. Um, and then there's three types of people that come to these classes. The first person, they want to live this health and wellness lifestyle. They're into holistic things. They want to support their family with tools. And we provide a lot of one-on-one -on -one education as well as support in our Facebook group for all of this. Yeah. Are the free oils in the last bundle? Um, they're 15 ml. Good question. Yeah. Let's go. Well, let me go back. Oh my. <laughs> I did something. Let's see. Gotta love the tech stuff. Stand by. Technical difficulties. We're going to figure it out. Um, they're the big 15 ml. Let me get this pulled up again. It's not fun unless you're having like a random tech thing pop up. Apparently, my computer didn't like the back button, but those are big 15 ml. Stand by, stand by. Here we go. Um, there we go. 
So yeah, they're the big 15 ml bottles. So they'll last a super long time. I didn't talk about citrus bliss by the way, but this smells like a vanilla creamsicle. It's kind of amazing. Um, it smells like you could eat it. You, you cannot, <laughs> unfortunately it's not one recommended for internal use, but it's really, really good. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only one, right? Like bless you. Yeah. You gotta love the tech stuff. It's like, I'll be careful. Let's see if there we go. Um, so there, there are people that want to live this wellness style and we provide one-on-one -on -one education, welcome calls and a Facebook group. And I teach, um, me with my amazing team, like we have some amazing educators, like Linnea is a nurse. We've got a lot of um, healthcare professionals. And so we do a lot of education in the groups, um, different master classes each month to help with those things and have them on hand. Um, so second type of person, um, as they're using the oils and they're like, oh my gosh, this actually works. Like this helped my child. When we find something that helps, it's like bright line eating. We find something that works and we're like, okay, we have to tell everybody about this because it's changed our life. If that's you and you know, it's you because you're like, you're calling your mom and your sister and you're like, you need breathe, you need deep blue, blah, blah, blah. Like, let us know because as you share oils and you help other people, you can actually get your oils paid for. And we call that free natural health care. And there are thousands and thousands of people in doTERRA that are receiving free natural health care with getting their oils. And then the third type of person is somebody who wants to do what I do, wants to do what Linnea does. We're passionate. We've seen how these have helped us and we want to help other people with that. Um, and you want to earn an income. You want to serve others. You want to make an impact. So if you're looking to, I even think like, what would an extra $200 a month do? Or an extra $500 a month, especially right now with the price of gas and groceries, um, that could really change people's lives. So that's an option too with this. You don't have to, it's not required to do the business. 85% of people in doTERRA are customers. They love, love, love their essential oils. Um, and that is totally cool. But if that's on your heart, and that's kind of where I came to this from, I was a burned out, stressed out healthcare professional. And the oils came in and supported me. And as a PT, I was like, why are we not talking about these? I have so many patients that are addicted to pain meds and opioids and things. Um, and I just became really passionate. And uh, I, I swore, I told my friend, I will never do this as a business. Absolutely not. I'm just going to love and use my oils. And for a year and a half, I did. And people, people were knocking on my door. <laughs> people were coming to me going, what are you going to do? And I literally had to Google how to help somebody. <laughs> it started with oils and it's, it's been a huge blessing, not only um, to my health, to my emotional health, to my financial health. I've, I've been able to retire as a PT because of doTERRA um, and be able to work from home, which later became a huge blessing when I had all these hip surgeries um, for hip dysplasia. So you just never know, never say never, but if that ever pops up or is pulling, if I'm talking to you, it's pulling on your heartstring, let us know. Um, but whew, that's our master class. Um, does anyone have any questions that we can, you can type them into the chat. You can unmute yourself. We'll just open it up for questions. Um, if you want, I'm going to pop some links below. Um, if Linnea was the person, if you're kind of curious about like, how do I order these? Um, if Linnea invited you to this class, if you were talking to Linnea, she is your person. She is incredible. Um, she can help you get started with these oils. And that is her link. If you're curious, if you want to browse, if you want to look at that, if I invited you um, to this, oh, good question. Um, so if I invited you to this class, I'm going to put it into the link there and you can see that there. Um, there is a time limit on the starter kit offer. It ends at the end of this month. So we got like, what, a couple more? How many? I got to pull up a calendar here. Um, so like a week and a half left. Um, so this special goes away May 31st um, at midnight. So the $50 in oil free and then the three um, extra freebie ones. And doTERRA only does like the three extra freebies, like the 200 PV promo. I only see it like two times a year, maybe three if we're lucky. Um, the $50 in oil free, that usually comes around once a year. So it's kind of a big deal in doTERRA land. And people are asking me like, well, what, like, when's the best time to get started with a sale? I'm like, right now, <laughs> like this would be, this would be a good time here. Um, what other questions do you have? What can we help? How can we serve? 
let us know. You can also direct message us, like message Linnea. We can help you customize something too. So I didn't mention this, but we can customize a kit specific for your needs as well. I love the top 10 starter kits because I feel like it's that you're ready for anything. You know, whether you like get a stomach bug or you have a sunburn or you get a bug bite or whatever, you've got something in those top 10, but maybe you want to dive deep. Maybe you want like to go really, really deep just into digestion, or you want to go really, really deep just into like inflammation or pain. We can customize something for you with that as well um, to get the $50 in oil free, to get the the $35 um, wholesale customer fee free. And if you want to get those extra, extra freebies, so we can, there can be a choose your own adventure option (laughs) as well with that. Yeah. So I would say there is a way to browse the oils. You can go to doTERRA.com or you can go to, um, Linnea has a website that you can go to. I have a website that you can go to, or you can look, um, I will say it can be kind of overwhelming. I, I try not to do that because it's like deer in the headlights. Cause there's so many oils and people are like, ah, um, so I would say like, let's hop on a call. Like you could hop on a quick call with Linnea or with me, and we can guide you through, um, to what would be good. Um, and I usually, but I usually recommend like start with one area like pain or digestive support or sleep, or start with a top 10 because we can start there and then we can always customize and then we can kind of like add in new things. So as you get familiar using these ones, then we can slowly, it's like a step-by-step thing because I don't want to overwhelm people. Um, and that's why we do welcome calls and check-in calls and make sure um, that you have somebody, right? That you can text me or Linnea and that we can support you with this. The best oils for littles without jeopardizing milk supply. Oh, are you breastfeeding mama? Yeah, so when we're breastfeeding, we really want to be careful of um, peppermint internally um, because that can dry up milk supply a little bit, which can be helpful when you're ending um, breastfeeding. One of my friends was like, okay, Laura, I'm, I'm done with breastfeeding. <laughs> what do I do? I was like, peppermint girl, I'll take some peppermint internally. Um, but the nice thing is we can kind of use the oils in both ways. So fennel will actually increase um, breast milk supply. So, um, you can kind of play with it like the gas and the brake. So fennel can help to increase breast milk production. Um, peppermint will help to kind of slow it down a little bit. Typically I just see that with, um, decreasing milk supply with taking it internally. Like usually my mamas can still do like peppermint topically for headaches and things or diffusing typically it doesn't cause any issues like that. It's the internal use. Um, so I just kind of mentioned that to, to kind of be on the lookout and just notice how you're feeling. Um, but if you do notice a decrease in, in breast milk supply, fennel will help to, to increase it a little bit. Um, and then for oils for littles, we actually, there's so many, but I love lavender for kids. I really do. Um, it's such a great one diluted. You can do a lot of things with it. Frankincense. Um, we use a lot to kind of play with. Oh, no problem. Okay. Fatigue. Okay. That's a good question. So I love to do a citrus oil with a peppermint oil, a mint and a citrus oil is like, it's like peanut butter and jelly. It's like a a really good combination. Um, so I will do a drop of peppermint, a drop of lemon or wild orange, put it on the back of your neck, um, do a big palm inhale. You can diffuse that combination which is really good too. Um, or if you're really daring, you can do like a drop of peppermint, like, like just on your tongue or on the roof of your mouth, it will wake you up. But there's some really interesting research about how a drop of peppermint on the tongue before you exercise helps with athletes with long jump, vertical jump, grip strength. It was really amazing. So I basically do a drop of peppermint before I go and weight lift. Cause it makes me feel like wonder woman. And I'm like, yeah, like let's just, so athletes love peppermint oil. Um, but I would just do a drop of peppermint oil on the tongue. You could do a drop of peppermint in your water, do that wild orange and, or lemon and peppermint combination and inhale that, um, can be really good, but I would also, we can also look at into deeper things of the fatigue, right? Like one of the number one causes of fatigue is lack of sleep. 
So maybe like we can do something to help you in the afternoon, but maybe we put some frankincense and lavender on the bottoms of the feet before you go to bed and a drop of lavender on the tongue or in a veggie capsule before you go to bed and diffuse some lavender and frankincense. Um, so this is where I love that we can use the oils to help you, but we're also like, okay, what's the underlying root cause? Like, how's your stress? How's your sleep? What you eating? Are we drinking enough water? So we can kind of look deeper into those things too. I hope that helps. These are good questions. Keep them coming. Y'all are so fun as a virtual group. Like I feel like y'all are here in my living room and we're talking. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here, Allison. If you have any questions, hit us up. Thanks for your time. All right, any other questions? I'll hang out for another like five, 10 minutes. And then we do have company playing and they're playing card games in the other room. Can y'all hear them? They're having a blast. They're like, <laughs> they're playing like Uno and all kinds of things in there. But you can let me know if you have any other questions, questions, comments, concerns. Linnea, do you wanna share anything? Do you wanna share a little bit about your, oil journey or just something that you experience you had well i i got my first set of oils like a day before i got food poisoning so i dove in head first <laughs> when my oils came i got my box i opened them up and i called laura and i said i have food poisoning help me with this and um that I diffused lemon for days and I am now such a fan of at work. I diffuse lemon all day long because I just absolutely love, but it helped immensely helped with my nausea. Um, I just, it was very calming and I've got my tummy blend now um, that I used for it. And now whenever my kids have tummy aches, they ask, mommy, can I even my mom down there that says Kurt, that's not, that's my dad. That's, that's my mom, Elise. So like she was over watching my kids the other night and Millie had a tummy ache and she's like, I want mommy's oils. And my mom's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, so like they're getting used to them. And TJ had a headache the other day and I put um, peppermint diluted peppermint on his forehead and he didn't complain the rest of the night and um yeah millie has been sick right now so we are diffusing on guard around the house and i slathered i put a pump of um, um fractionated coconut oil in my hand with just one drop of um on guard and just like lathered her back and her feet and sent her off to bed um so yeah, she had a fever. I still gave her Tylenol like this, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a tool to use with all the other things. But if I can try to give my kids, you know, peppermint oil for a headache before I give them Tylenol, like I'm going to try that. And, um, so I've, I I've love really, that you said that Linnea, yeah. cause it doesn't have to be all or none. Right. You can use it. You can use it together. Else. Yes. Yes. Mom, I was going, I, did Travis tell you he was going to give you a sample, a couple samples and he forgot. I'm so bummed, but now you're not leaving. So I can get them to you because I have a sample of breathe for you because for when you get your big asthma exacerbations and you need prednisone, I was like, mom needs breathe. And then deep blue for dad, for his neck pain and his back pain. I've got those two ready for you guys. So. Oh, awesome. Okay. At least you'll have to keep us posted. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> I love it. Any other questions? I see so many fun faces on here. Hey, well, let us know. We want to be respectful of your time. And we're, we're so grateful for you to hang with us on a Thursday night. Always so fun, but um, that's what we're here for. Like, um, man, I get, I receive text messages from people all the time about how the oils are helping them. Um, it's just, I was reminded of that last night, sitting around a table and people were just talking about their experiences and that's, that's powerful. So we have something to help and serve. That's where we're at. Thanks, Kate. Yeah. We, we, as you can see, we are passionate. Um, I know Linnea feels this way as healthcare providers, we feel very much like, okay, we love education and we want to, we want to give people tools. 
um, for support. Are the essential oils a magic bullet? No. Is anything a magic bullet? No, <laughs> but it's a tool. It's something that we can use when we need it. All right, well, if we don't have any other questions, we will let you go, but thank you for your time and please reach out. Like if you've got questions, send us a message, send Linnea a message, send me a message. Um, we're happy to help. And um, yeah, we'll see you around next time. We do, we do quite a few classes on different topics and things. So, and if you have any suggestions of things that you wanna learn about, let us know. We would love to teach and serve. All right. Well. Thanks, Linnea. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. Thanks for coming. Have a good night. Bye.